With over 7 billion people on the planet, it's becoming increasingly difficult to find places where nature is unaltered, where the water runs cold and clear, and where bull trout thrive. I call these places secrets. All right, can uh, everyone hear me? Yep. Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. Roger. 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 Over the years, you know, you spend a lot of time walking riverbanks and, uh, you know, looking for new locations and, uh, you know, it's a lot of effort that goes into it. So when you find a truly special place that, uh, you know, you, you kind of got to use it yourself for a while before you're willing to share it. Seeing the fog beneath us and uh, and seeing little glimpses of the stream and finding basically finding a hole in the fog uh, so that we could take the chopper down in and land it on the banks of the stream it was a, it was a, like a trip in a dream when you're steelheading and the fog is like coming up off the river that's mystical being able to go up in a helicopter and be right beside the mountains and right on top of the trees and seeing elk in the valleys. It is honestly a unique, special experience that I'm not sure I'll ever get to do again. Because the hole was quite small and um, the, the way that we were fishing, it, fishing the hole is that each of us were kind of taking a crack, but we were taking a chance and Paul set me up first in the hole and it was one cast and it wasn't a great cast that I got off on the first one. It's all right, yeah. That wasn't far enough in there, was it? Fish every cast. Second cast was a good one. And I placed it right where, right where Paul said, yep, put it there, boom. I hooked into a beautiful bull trout. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Look at how wide, wide they are across the head. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any assistant flies. I guess I just think that the fly is not as important as what you do with it, which is kind of my uh, philosophy on, on fishing. In the old days, when the veteran fly fisherman who's catching a bunch of fish runs into the, the new guy who's not catching any, he, he says, come here, let me give you a couple of these, try these. Because that's not really what catches the fish, it's, it's what you do with it, but it, you know, it can sometimes help somebody. Being able to put a cast with so many bowls in a pool, you get excited every single time you cast. You never know if you're gonna be the one to hook that 40 inch bowl. I made one cast, set the hook. And I had to run down the pool so I don't sweep more fish that are in there. And this fish just goes for a run. It was just, it had everything on me. I honestly didn't think I was gonna get it in. This thing is just solid. I 
had not fished with Paula before, and it was really something to see her go to work on these fish. She is a, a fishing machine. I'm going to have a vivid memory of this. It's really special to be in such a place with incredible fishermen. It was just a fantastic day. It's not just the bull trout, and it's not just the fishing, and it's never just that. It's that there's a guide who I, you know, I respect Paul so much. You know, we've built up a trust with him, and he's willing to bring us into this, one of his secret places.